folks, Lester here. And uh, today is the day after our annual cardboard boat race. Today's also the day that you and I will do a little investigative work and figure out exactly what Jake and Brian are doing to win this thing every year. Now, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say it completely unbiased. I don't care who wins the race. I would like to win for myself, but if you don't, you don't. But I also wanna find out if anyone's doing anything that is a little bit devious, underhanded, and not playing by the rules. You're coming with me and we're gonna discover this, their secrets together. You ready? Come on, the evidence is right there. Let's go inside the shop and get out of the sun, shall we? Come on now, it's funner and gooder when we can discover these kind of things together. Now, you can pretty much guarantee that anytime the Morrows gather up to do some kind of a competition type event, there's gonna be someone who's going to go a little bit overboard, uh, get a little bit too much into it, and break a few rules here and there. And today, as a fun video, we're gonna find out exactly who did what and what kind of rules were broken. Here's actually the three boats I want to examine. Life on Morrow Hill, Catching Up with Kim, and Shirtless Jake's Homestead. Let's get right into it, shall we? Ah, what have we hit here? What have we snagged on? What have we snagged on here, huh? Well, my friends, it does not take a rocket scientist to realize real fast that Jake did, in fact, use cardboard and that there's nothing illegal or against the rules in his boat design. It looks like he has a very strong cardboard bottom covered in what appears to be strips of duct tape which is permissible and allowed. And so we give a thumbs up to Shirtless Jake's homestead and his boat design. But now, bum, bum, bum. All right, so I'm gonna just tell you right now that Brienne, uh, who we all know is Bree Pat, uh, likes to come across as sweet and innocent and she could never do anyone any harm any wrong She's just so helpful by always peeping out of her windows and looking out for all of us on Morrow Hill But I know Bree a little bit better than you do I'm gonna turn my camera around now and we're going to give her boat a very thorough once over maybe even a twice over if we have to and figure out exactly what she did and what she does to make such strong and competitive boat. So the first thing that I look at are seams. And over here in this particular seam, I can tell that Brie has gotten a little bit sloppy and it's beginning to show that what she's doing here might not be something that's permissible. 
I don't actually know what this is, but I do think it might be a weld. I think that Brienne, uh, I'm guessing with the help of Laramie, may have got out a welding device and she somehow welded her boat together. Now, what we allow are any kind of paints, any kind of glue, any kind of tape, any kind of adhesive, any kind of adhesive. But friends, is welding considered an adhesive? I mean, seriously, does anyone consider welding an adhesive? I mean, this uh, shop was put together using a welding device, not glue, tape, or paint. I'm just saying, we're going to examine this a little bit closer and figure out what's what here. I think that should be enough. Ah, ah, oh. What have we here? What have we here? Okay. So this is just multiple layers of duct tape. You can see there's, there's at least probably two or three layers of duct tape there. This section over here is in fact cardboard cardboard you can see the cardboard okay yes but what is this ah oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Brian what is this foam spray this is foam <laughs> that's foam spray that's spray foam Spray foam is what you guys put in the cracks around your home uh, to keep pest out, to keep your air in. That is spray foam. Oh, my God. What has she done here? What has she... <gasps> Brian? Who does that? Who does that, Brienne? She put spray foam between her pieces of cardboard. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Let's get nasty. She's not kidding, y'all. Look. Oh, she got nasty, all right. She got downright nasty. Is spray foam, let's, let's ask ourselves this question. Is spray foam a tape? Is spray foam a paint? Is spray foam a glue? Is spray foam any of those things? Answer me that. Did she use spray foam as an adhesive? Answer me that. Brienne, all I want, and look how she tried to paint it. She tried to paint it. Brienne put black, she put black, look what she did. She put black duct tape and tried to paint her spray foam black so no one would see it. <laughs> oh my God. She got nasty, all right. We ain't done yet. We're going to look at Sister Kim's boat. Sister Kim, let's just go. Mm. Brian. All right. Next, we're going to go over to Sister Kim's boat. Uh, catching up with Kim. There we go. Catching up with Kim. And we're going to figure out what has she done here. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, there's something about this boat that is just not kosher. Let's get right into it.
Oh, uh, well, it does appear to be layers upon layers upon layers of cardboard. And I believe that what she's done here to make it look a little bit more flexible is just taken just multiple layers of duct tape, a really pretty duct tape, and has just covered it with duct tape. So at least from that right there, and then of course from this over here, it all appears as though Sister Kim has committed no violations in the construction of her boat. All right, Sister Kim, you seem to have passed. You have passed. Here's Dan and Lou's. Now, Dan and Lou called their boat the USS Biscuit Maker, and we all know because they love to do their cooking shows. However, what else has Dan and Lou been cooking up for us all? Seriously, what else has Dan and Lou been cooking up for us all? Let's find out. All right. Now, I can tell you something. I've known Daniel my entire life. He's my little brother, y'all. And I don't think there's anything here or in his history to show him being deceitful in any way. And so when I look at this boat of his, his and Lou's, what I'm seeing is tape, and it appears to be multiple layers of cardboard, good, thick, heavy cardboard. So I would have to say that, and the reason I only have to take one snapshot, guys, you don't need to take the entire boat apart. A simple snapshot is all you need to tell you about the structural integrity of the boat. Uh, you would, honestly, you'd always make sure that you check around the, the hull of the boat, the bottom of the boat, because that's where it gets more water. And so if you can check around the hull and around the seams, you can usually pinpoint, um, you know, problem areas real fast, areas of concern. We'll just call it areas of concern. And so what I'm gonna say as of right now, we've evaluated four different boats. We've looked at Sister Kim's boat and we found no infractions. We've looked at Uncle Dan's boat, no infractions. We looked at Jacob's boat, no infractions. But we have an obvious infraction right here on Brianne's boat, Bree Pat, life on Mar Hill, an obvious infraction. Well, at this point, there's really no other boats to look at, and I'll tell you why. Because Steph and Buddy took their boat with them. Uh-huh, what does that tell you? Why would anybody walk out there to a waterlogged and saturated vessel of cardboard, lift it? Can you imagine the weight? Lift that boat, pick it up, and carry it home with them. For what reason? For what reason? I can't think of a reason. I actually can think of only one reason why someone would want to can we just say hide the evidence? Mm -hmm. Hide the evidence. Anyway, my boat's here, Ellie's boat's here, and Lex's boat is here, if y'all even care, but we're, we're not, yeah, we, we would never do that kind of stuff. We're good, we're good. Okay, so let's get to the point of the matter. Brienne, y'all think she's so sweet and innocent, don't you? And here's the problem. Many of y'all are going to root her on. Go, Bree. Go, Bree. I was a girl like you. I know how hard it is with a bunch of brothers and a bunch of cousins who are all mean to me and pick on me. Yeah. What does it tell you when your chainsaw will not even cut to the hull of someone's boat? It should not be that hard to cut into the hull of a boat made of cardboard, Brienne. Oh, she's still invited to next year's event. Don't worry about that. But I just want us all to be aware of the things that people will do. Don't 
let your troubles fester Come watch Longhorn Lester <laughs> Yeah, something like that